Hi, hi. How's everyone doing? Welcome. Hi, everybody. It's Rebecca Packard. We are creating a Maharishi effect. We come together every day at 2 p.m. Eastern to hold attention for peace. We have been doing this for over a year. This is a beautiful practice that we've created to take two to four minutes out of our life, out of our busy day, to just reset, regroup, reground, reconnect with self, re um, gain our focus, our emotional stability, all of the things that meditation can beautifully support us in. We come together with the intention of peace so that we can not only be peaceful in ourselves, in our space, and in our surroundings, but we can also share that with others. Hello, welcome, thank you for joining us. If this is your first time joining us, we take and we hold whichever mm -hmm. meditation practice resonates with us. The meditation that you practice regularly is what we want you to go to. That is what we are hopeful that you can stay focused in that space. If this is your first time and you don't even have a meditation practice, that's fine. We don't want you to get overwhelmed. We don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. We're just going to take, we're going to say a mantra or maybe we're going to hold an intention in our head and just say peace, peace over and over again. And you can do that inhale. Hold in an exhale, hold, inhale, peace, exhale, peace. And you can just say that over and over again. Whichever meditation resonates with you, that's what we want you to do. But by us all holding the same intention, the intention of peace, we are connecting on a vibrational energetic level. We are taking and intentionally setting our brain to be more in a peaceful state. We are encouraging it to go to that space and we encourage other people to go into that space at the same time. Hey, Shell, mm -hmm. welcome. And then while we're taking and holding peace, we're able to be grounded. We're able to be in our own mind and in our own space and more connected with self, which is just huge. So it's just about two o'clock, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we're going to ask that you get settled, you get comfortable. I sit on my kitchen floor because for me, I'm Irish, the heart of the home is in the kitchen. Everything that happens in our house happens through our kitchen. And so that's where I sit. And it's like my own little happy place. If you're in a cubicle, that's fine. Maybe you're out for a meditation walk or you're sitting in your living room, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, that's okay. You can even be standing in line at the grocery store. But hi, Melissa. Um, and so, hi, Brock. Um, and so we are just going to ask that you sit and we take a few minutes for ourselves. Mm -hmm.
Wonderful! I'm so glad that so many of you were able to take time for yourselves, take and reset, regroup, reground, redirect your thoughts, join us for a meditation, and just reconnect with yourself. It is so important to be able to reconnect with yourself, to just be in the moment. A lot of the times we're so distracted by so many other things, and right now, I mean, we're going into Thanksgiving. If you're in the United States, we have Thanksgiving is next week, and people are already rushing around with holiday madness, and you really don't need to be in that space. I'm taking this beautiful class by Val White. He's incredible. You can find him at the Val White online, and he is sharing this incredible class. It's about finding joy and bringing joy back into the holiday season, and how you can relate with different things, and how you can choose to find joy in every single aspect, and how you can take what is a chaotic holiday season or a um, just overwhelming holiday season because you're constantly being pushed at through social media and the news and um, stores. They already, like for a month, the stores around me have already had Christmas stuff up it, since October. So just finding a way to find peace with all of that and to find joy in the moments and to just bring joy back into that space so you can have the magic of the holidays and you can truly focus in the space of your friends and your family and your traditions. And if, if you're celebrating Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, Yule, any of the things that are happening during this time, winter solstice and Christmas and uh, Little Christmas and um, Three Kings and all of the things that take place in the next 30, 60, 90 days, he's showing you how you can go back and find the love of that space as you did while you were a child before you grew up and started overthinking it and consumerism ro ruined your holidays and it's been so amazing we're only in the first week but it's been so great um one of the things that he had us do was to um remind yourself of what it was that lit you up as a child during this time of the year and um do some journaling on it and then do some of those things and so for my family we did that and it was really great to just touch back to that childhood joy of the holiday season and I hope that so many more people start to do this and start to bring that into their space because with peace and with joy if you look everywhere everything about the holidays is to find peace to find joy to find peace to find joy these things go hand in hand we have this peace meditation every day this is so you can create the platform and grow the space where you can go to the joy because without the peace how are you going to get to the joy how are you going to get to the abundance how are you going to get to the other spaces with the peace you will find that they are hand in hand it's like taking your right hand and your left hand you will find that vortex and be able to move into that space more freely so super excited for that class if you don't know who the Val White is you want to meet him you want to know him you want to follow him he is so much fun He's a yoga instructor, he does meditations, he's an intuitive life coach, he's incredible. And I just love him to pieces and I'm so honored to be taking his class with him and this is the very first time he is sharing this course. Um, it was just written this year so it's so fun. Um, the other thing is, is if you haven't come over to a Meditation for Peace, a Maharishi Effect, come over, join us. Show us what you're doing to improve your meditation practice, how you're implementing your meditation practice, how you're going to be changing your meditation practice in the coming years. Are you going to be adding to it? Are you going to be shifting it? Are you going to be taking courses around it? I was talking to someone who was, um, has been joining us regularly. They set their alarms and they show up and they participate in the meditation. And this year she's going to embark on a kundalini meditation practice. And I'm so excited because I love kundalini meditation. And um, my mentor Gabby Bernstein highly recommends it and has taught us some beautiful kundalini meditations. And this beautiful person is going to go off and she is going to um, start her own kundalini practice. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of that and to be the space where she fell in love with meditation and is now going to go off and create her own practice. That's so fulfilling for all of us. So 
I have so much gratitude and love for each and every one of you. I'm so glad that you each take time for yourselves each and every day to show up for yourselves, to set a goal for yourselves, to just have a few minutes of self-love, self-care, and self-appreciation. It is so important. And so I will see you tomorrow. Love you.